So I was so unaware that I didn't even know PMDD existed. I just thought I had really extreme PMS symptoms, you know, and that thought process was reinforced by medical professionals, by doctors who told me time and time again, when I went lamenting, you know, me time of the month, me lady days, um, they would say, you know, periods get worse as you get older. Like you're going to have to accept this. Everybody else is dealing with it. You know, like, I'm really sorry. I'm uh, like, I was made to feel weak and ashamed. Not once. There was no suggestion that there was a disorder that was worse than PMS that I might actually have. It was the internet. It was women online. It was women on Instagram who said, Vicky, like, it sounds as though you have PMDD, not PMS. That first um, brought it to my attention. it's so common um and women are often misdiagnosed we're often you know sidelined made to go away made to feel ashamed embarrassed weak all those things that I mentioned before um so yeah so I am riding that wave currently um trying to find a medication that works for me and something that helps alleviate things um it's unfortunately not a one-size-fits-all but anybody who's struggling with any sort of you know female re reproductive health issues knows that all I was all too familiar with the painful process. Um, but unfortunately, wouldn't you know, sod's law, I'm due on my period for both my weddings. The wonderful thing about modern medicine, I know I've been rather disparaging there, is that... There's plenty of things I can do. So I'm currently trialing like a little pill at the minute that all the girls were on actually when I was in the Arctic to try and stop their periods. So this is good morning. Good morning, sir. They've just come in from their walk. I'm so sorry. They just wanted to tell mommy they had a nice time. You did. You did go get your water. Um, so yeah, so all the lasses were actually on it when they were in Arctic. And it like stops your period coming. So I'm on it at the moment. I'm just giving it a little trial hoping that I can trick my body into having a period at a different time, which is not nice. It's horrible the things we have to go through. But yeah, I do feel like um I do feel like by hell or high water I will try and avoid suffering with my luteal phase over me over my wedding because I'm just not myself. I'm awful. Yeah. I'm I'm re I'm exhausted. Like you think I had narcolepsy. Like I could just fall asleep with the drop of a hat. I'm agitated. I'm anxious. I'm borderline suicidal it's awful so yeah we are doing what we can hun on the podcast last year you had Erkan on you were speaking about like prenups and things like that did you actually go through with that or was that just a joke it's probably a joke right? no like yeah. honestly I'm I've worked hard my whole life um and I think it's important for women to protect themselves I think it's important for men to protect themselves Erk and I are going to be together forever I've got no doubt about that um but I think being financially responsible and protecting what you've worked for is is smart. There's there's a, there's no two ways about it. So even though it's um, not a romantic conversation to have, and it's been a difficult pill for both of us to swallow, we are now we've we've done the hard work, and we're we're both protected should anything happen, you know. So and I think it's important. Like I spoke to friends about it. I spoke to neighbors. I spoke to people in my industry, and it's becoming more and more common, you know. But it turns out, you know, when you're watching the films where they go like, oh, she gets X, Y and Z unless she cheats and then she gets nothing. That's not the case. <laughs> These things aren't true. I was just, I got carried away with my solicitor and I had to learn that the hard way. <laughs> She's like, no, you've watched too many films, Vic. You only learn about it in American terms. And then I heard that prenup doesn't, it's not actually a word that the UK uses anyway, prenup. So no, I think... Different. I think we've been influenced by American culture. We've probably all been watching too much Suits, if I'm honest. It was actually a very painless and just very legal process.